Okay. James P. Madonna, the Facebook book group, everything is food. All right. Here's the duck. I'm approach, approaching the duck that's out of luck. And in this case, the duck is out of luck. Hopefully, they'll bring out more. But I think I see leg of lamb. I'll forget it. Oh. You know what? Forget about it. This duck, this duck is out of luck. Okay, now, uh, I guess that's, I don't know if that's lamb. I don't know what it is. You know, I honestly don't know what this is. I hope it's lamb. It smells like lamb. It smells like lamb. Okay. When it, it's, it, 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 con, considering that it smells like lamb, it looks like lamb from a leg of lamb, and it's most likely lamb. Get some, let me get some lamb flavored onions here. I want to give a shout out to the creator Mario Petrus because the Greeks love lamb. Then again, so does the entire Middle East. These onions are probably. I am at the Royal Hibachi uh, Grill and Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. All right. Uh, uh, okay. Well, you know what? Look how tender this is. Try to cut another another slab of this. Oh, I get it. Trying to do it with one heat, you know, people. I have the phone in the other hand, you know? That's why I'm doing this. Come on, you son of a bitch. Come on. Watch, watch. Oh, that was a workout. Land. Alright, goodbye. I don't think I have any more room. You know what? I'm gonna have to come back for the shrimp and wrapped in flounder. All right. You know what? I'm gonna have some roll grape leaves as a side dish. We got stuffed shells, spinach or gratin, mac and cheese. Here's something interesting. We got mussels and clams. Um, fry calamari, eh, not yet. But these shrimp are really good. These fried shrimp are excellent. I say that every every week. There he is, my friend. Oh, hi, buddy. How you doing? All right. All right. All right. Some rolled grape leaves as a side dish. All right. All right. As a side dish. Rolled grape leaves. Also a, uh, a Greek and Middle Eastern delight. Mm. Okay, it's round one. There we go. Lots of leg of lamb, a few morsels of roast duck, and uh, rolled grape leaves. Round two, James P. Madonna of the Facebook group, everything is food, 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 food. Get some of these uh, fried Cameroons. I just want to say, uh, I want to do a little bashing of uh, food snobs. There are, there are people out, out there that are food snobs. 
um, <clears throat> beer, craft beer snobs, wine snobs, uh, whiskey snobs, and food snobs. You know, uh, these these uh, onion rings uh, don't look too bad, but man, I'm gonna pass. Let me get more of these. Okay. <clears throat> You know, it's all uh, elitism uh, due to insecurity. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Get some squash. Yellow squash is delicious. Uh, okay. The green one is probably a zucchini. Get some cauliflower, grilled cauliflower. I love cauliflower. It's in the cabbage family. Everything in the cabbage family is very healthy for you. You know? You know, but the food snobs can really go right to hell. Really. Well, snobbery in, in any any given field um, has their share of these, these, uh, these calabasa heads, you know? Ah, I'll grab another one. Supposed to be good luck in China. Even the image of the cauliflower. I have to do some research on it. Okay. There we go. Got some fried shrimp. Uh, grilled zucchini, yellow squash, and cauliflower. My grandparents used to say kali, cauliflower. God knows why. Should I get some mussels? Let me check on the, the seafood uh, salad. Oh, look at that. We got some calamari legs. Oh, some tentacles, man. That's good. Oh, I love that. Yeah, get some tentacles going there. Uh, some tentacles uh, are in there. Of course, it's not, it's not easy to fish out the tentacles, but really seriously, uh, I'm encountering, you know, the human race is really extremely annoying. I'm encountering more and more snobbery on uh, social media than ever before. You know, these people really need, they really need one of Captain Kirk's photon torpedoes fired at them. Really, seriously. I would love to do it. You know, and, and you, all, you all know who you are. Put them in a headlock and just squeeze until the, the head pops, you know? All right, it's round two. Should I go for more lemons? I wait a minute. There's some lemon seeds here, man. All right, you know what? I've been growing lemon plants. They've been actually sprouting. You know what? I'm gonna come back for those seeds. I learned how to do it on YouTube. How to grow uh, plants. Here's a baby version of the money tree. Call the money tree. Probably a retail gimmick. Here's a poinsettia. They need a lot of water though. Gotta water them, I hear, every day. That's why most of them die after Christmas. Okay, ready for round three. It's James P. Madonna of the Facebook group, Everything is Food. As also seen on uh, YouTube. Everything is Food is also on YouTube. Um, going way back when I first created the group uh, okay here we got some whitings um, salmon filet but I, I much prefer the sushi let me see let me see if they brought out the hardcore sushi otherwise I'll have to get a whiting 
No, no, no hardcore sushi. Nope, 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 nope. Wiped out. They got all the, the California style rolls. I'm not gonna get the same thing again. You know, uh, it's a Mongolian barbecue. Nah, I'm not crazy about that. Whiting. Yeah, let's get a whiting. Whiting's not a bad fish. Got more of a cell. This time it's roast beef. Okay, no. Oh. Let's see what we got here. Asparagus. Some grilled asparagus. The only thing is it makes my urine stink to high heavens. When you pee. When you pee. There's something about asparagus that makes you your urine smell really bad. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, yeah, let me get some lemons. <laughs> so you're for. I'm like, hey. hey, what happened? They moved the. Oh, for God's sakes, they moved the lemons. Oh, they moved the lemons. people think some it's like spinach salad very high in nutritional value by the way I really should eat some fresh mozzarella the mutz you know in uh, honor of Salvatore Mercurio so oh, somebody dropped something I heard a loud bang when I said Salvatore Mercurio how dare they interfere with me uh, giving him a shout out. But that's the fresh mutz. Hey Toots, here's the mutz. Now, I don't know if these are lychees because they're orange. It might be, I don't know, kumquats, low quats, high quats, um, medium quats. Hey, they just brought out the tray leche. Dessert, the dessert. What's that? Blueberry cheesecake? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Could be blue could be blueberry cheesecake. It's hard to say. Um hmm. interesting. You know what? Trey Leche is out. Um It's very sweet though. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna give one of these a shot and see how they are. They look like blueberry cheesecakes. See, we'll just give it a shot. It's all. Okay. Oh, I got, got more lemon seeds for my collection because I'm able to sprout lemons. I learned on YouTube. Got a whiting there. I'm winding down to the end of this week's uh, lunch buffet. Friday afternoon. Facebook group, everything is food. Mm -hmm. Royal Hibachi Grill and Buffet, South of Book, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy that his establishment is getting busy. Busier and busier. 